This video is sponsored by Activision. What is up, jokesters? This is your big homie, Jokesta, back at it with a brand new Game Sense series. Today, we will talk about improving your aim. There's a ton of videos on how to have better aim, but they don't cover the topic as serious as it's supposed to be. Our aim is crucial, and in this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about improving your aim. If you guys don't want to miss out on any of these episodes of the Game Sense series, make sure to hit the subscribe icon and the bell to get alerted whenever I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do enjoy this series, make sure to hit that like button for me. Here's a list of things that are related to aim and what we will cover in this video. We'll talk about the importance of sleep, aiming, crosshair placement, tracking, flicking, pre-aiming, moving along with the targets, aiming a bit ahead, warming up and practice. Let's talk about the importance of sleep. One day I went to sleep around three in the morning and I woke up five hours later. I wanted to stream and keep my stream streak going so I decided to do that. I also wanted to show players around me how good I am and so I decided to stream. An hour goes by into the stream and another hour goes by and I'm doing terrible. I couldn't understand what was going wrong. Like I kept dying and missing my shots over and over. I got frustrated. I got upset and I wasn't focusing enough. I kept reading the chat. I just didn't want to focus in the game. And I didn't want to play anymore because of all the mistakes that I've done. So I ended the stream. I rested the entire day. The next day I woke up and I had about eight hours of sleep, precisely eight hours. And I felt alive. I felt like talking and playing and my aim was sharp. No mistakes and nothing wrong with me at all. I wasn't tired and I can keep grinding for many more hours. I was also calling out to my teammates. Also a very positive attitude. People around me had a positive attitude as well. It made me play better. The very next day, I had more than 10 hours of sleep and I felt rested. I wasn't sharp though. My reaction wasn't as great as it was yesterday and I needed to relearn things. I needed to learn to react again. It felt like I was lost in my aim and I just walked around like a zombie. It's like I forgot how to play again. So I think it affects your everyday play style. So when I had five hours of sleep, I still knew how to play and how to react, but I was just too tired. I felt hopeless. My aim was failing me and I wasn't interested in playing. When I got more than 10 hours of sleep, I felt like I forgot everything and I had to relearn again and play styles again. I have to relearn everything and it's a weird feeling and I can't be the only one feeling this way. So I've asked a few players if they thought the same as well and funny enough, they had the same issue. They felt even more tired with the 10 plus hours of sleep. It's interesting how our brain can forget that much amount of sleep. I decided to do a bit of research and I will link it all down below for all of you guys to read about this. And this one part strikes me the most. It says, research does indeed show what to remember and what is important. We need to forget what isn't important. This can happen at two levels in our brain. A cleaning of irrelevant information as we retain and consolidate our memories and a blocking of unrelated information when we try to retrieve a memory. The positive effect of our memory of blocking irrelevant information has been known since 1950s. And it goes on and on and on. You can read all about it in the link in the description. This is just a huge article. I found it really helpful and I decided to share that with you guys. Our brain likes to forget things and loves to throw out our memories. So try to always hit that eight hours of sleep. No more than eight hours is going to mess you up and try to not sleep you know, less than eight hours, all right? Just keep it straight for eight hours. It's going to help you out a lot. Moving on to aiming. Aiming is crucial. As you all know, aiming can define you as one of the best players or one of the worst players on the team. So having sharp aim makes you incredible, and that's what we'll be talking about today. The very first step in their aim is crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is one of the critical factors in this game. Make sure you avoid aiming down and start like aiming up around the center. I don't recommend aiming high enough, and it's because when you play the game long enough, you begin to realize that a lot of players like to drop shot and slide 
And if you ever watch one of my videos, I usually aim at the chest level. And so my take on this is to aim at the chest level. When they drop shot, all you really have to do is just aim down and it's really easy target. So they don't stand a chance. But if they do decide to jump shot, all you have to do is just aim higher. And that's got that taken care of. The next topic is tracking. Do you watch some pro players go off at some point and you're wondering how is their aim so good? Well, it's tracking. They have been practicing this for a very long time. And do you see those moving targets? Well, our goal here today is to aim at those targets while they're moving. Follow your targets left to right and right to left. You do not need to shoot at them. You just need to follow your targets and you need to practice this every day to ensure that your tracking is smoothly going. There can't be any cracks in our aim and it has to be really smooth. Once you got that locked down, you can start practicing shooting while tracking. This is going to help you out a lot in tracking your targets. I would say practice this about 20 to 30 minutes a day and you will master your tracking pretty quickly. Licking is good for your aim. Sometimes you are in a 1v1 gunfight and then someone else pops in and tries to third party you. A lot of pros are good at flicking, especially using a sniper rifle. They would scope in and someone would appear on their very left and they would need to flick to the very left and they're really good at it. It would be best for you if you master your flicks. So aim at the target and then pick another target to shoot at and then flick as fast as you can and shoot your targets. Now keep repeating the process and I would say do this about 20 minutes at most. Pre-aiming. Pre-aiming is a bit of a advanced thing. It requires you to know your maps really well. Where all the campers might be camping, where all the pro players might be at. So this is more for players that use hip fires and aim in button. So here's how you do it. Before you push, start aiming in. Before you peek, try to pre-aim and then peek. This is something that you need to practice a bit and it will take a while to get used to. If you stop by my stream, you will actually notice that I mostly pre-aim before peeking out. And this is kind of a, a habit that I force myself to learn. So definitely start pre-aiming around the corners before you peek, pre-aim. This is going to help you out massively aiming a little ahead. This is a little tip that I've learned back then. It's basically holding your aim. What I mean by that is you don't want to directly aim at the very edge of the wall where they're going to peek from, but actually a little bit to the right. So you want to make sure it's like in the center, like for example, this doorway right here, you want to make sure you are aiming at the center. You're not aiming at the very edge of the doorway because it requires less work when you have your crosshair place in the center. Most of the time you can get luckily hit a headshot and it requires less work for you. So this is going to make it a lot more comfortable for you and you don't have to use your aim as much. This is going to help out a lot. Warming up. My warm up games are pretty severe. Basically I get about eight hours of sleep and then get into a hot shower. After the hot shower, I take some, I drink some coffee, right? Or sometimes it'd be tea, depending on my mood. Then I uh, start to warm up my hand. Basically, you want to start massaging your fingers and the palms of your hand. Make sure you're getting them warm and do it about 20 times. Make sure your fingers are awake and that they can respond as fast as they can. And after that, I start doing my practice routine and we'll get into the practice routine in a second. But after I get my practice routine done, I take about 30 minute break, get some fresh air, and then I get back into the game. I play for one hour, then I take another 30 minute break. And right after that, I can entirely focus on my game and I hit my utopia pretty quick. Next up is practicing. So you're wondering, what about practice? How much preparation do you need when what are my practice routines? So I start with a 30 minutes of tracking, just practice tracking the targets. And then you start doing a little bit of another 30 minutes of tracking and shooting at your targets. I do another 30 minutes of flicking and make sure you pick a target and flick from one to another. And this is going to help you out a lot. I'm telling you, flicking 
is really important. You want to make sure you have that in your practice. And if you're starting off, I would say like for those of you, the beginners, maybe like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. But for those of you guys have been long in the game, just 30 minutes is good for practice. Um, and you want to make sure 30 minutes pair tracking, pair flicking, pair following targets and stuff like that. So make sure you uh, bump up your minutes. You want to make sure you get warmed up. Next time you're playing, just remember to practice because this is going to help you out when against other players. A lot of players just hop right into the game and they don't care. They didn't practice. They don't, you know, they're not committed. And if you do warm up, you can see that you are improving massively and you're going to be beating a lot of players. You're going to be confident and you're going to be pretty comfortable kicking people's butts. Now, let me know what's the next topic I should cover for the Game Sense series. Are you struggling with something? Comment down below and if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the subscribe icon and the bell to get alerted whenever I upload a brand new video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.